There is a voltage. Think of it as a water. High voltage is a hot water, low voltage is a cold water, okay? So, there is a voltage, voltage is a water, and there is a CPU. Think of it as, well, just as a CPU. And there is a game. To run a game, CPU needs a particular voltage. Because it's an electronic device, you know? But f*** it, let's say it needs a comfy bath with a special water temp. But, the water coming through the pipe, which is a power supply wire, is a little bit too hot. Like, almost a steam. If we hadn't a CPU in a bath, it would be pretty easy to maintain a desired temperature just by closing and opening the valve. Since we have a CPU in a bath, we can't spill boiling water on it, even for a millisecond. Damn, that hurts. And the solution for it makes me choke. Literally. Long story short, it's a component that chokes any high-voltage spikes, converting some electrical energy into magnetic energy. And there is the catch. Every time the high voltage affects the choke, this magnetic energy slightly moves it. We can hear this movement. And as it happens about 600,000 times a second, it's going to sound like this. Or like this depending on the task your system is running. Once again, the power coming from the power supply is switched on and off hundreds of thousands times a second, so on average we have the required CPU voltage. But keep in mind that the average man is dead, so this is not going to work. To convert this mass into this tight stable power, a particular circuit is used. The main components in this circuit are the chokes. The choke is like a female superhero, it's tough, strong, but it screams so loud you want to leave. Hey, wait a second. I've got some upcoming content for you, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel, okay?